Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my project Use It Up June progress and July goals. My hair may grow during this video. It's doing its own thing today. Okay, so I like to do two hair masks a month and I am still using the Queen Helen Cholesterol hair conditioning cream. This is my line right now, so I am down here. Maybe one to two more fills into this little container. This was a deep conditioner from the dollar store. And this was the perfect size to hold two applications of the cholesterol. So, looks like I am making some really good progress. You know, it's constant progress. Steady progress and my goal what I was saying October for a while there but this is July this will be another July application and you'd fill it up so this could be a, done in September but that also depends on if I get braids anytime soon because when I have braids I won't be deep conditioning every other week but I am pleased to be moving that out. So we know definitely by the end of the year, this will definitely be gone. So I have no new antibacterial hand gels to show you. I have already finished five this year, which surpassed my goal of three. So I am very pleased with that. I have been using some bigger ones lately. So not the little ones that they sell now. I hit my goal of three body sprays or perfumes for the year and I'm going to continue to use my body sprays and perfumes I want to know how much I can use up because I saw on Curious Sparkle she actually weighed her perfumes and decided on an amount to have done for the year so she could go through different scents she didn't have to continuously use one scent and I kind of like that. But I think that would be better when you had a smaller collection. But I was also able to finish two perfumes and body sprays in June. The Calgon Hawaiian Ginger Body Mist. I really love the scent of this one. And then Shades. There we go. I really enjoyed this scent in high school I enjoyed it the last time I used it earlier this year I want to say but this time around it did not smell great with my body chemistry like it smelled good coming out of the container but on my skin it wasn't the same so I didn't enjoy it as much so I am glad to have finished both of those and I am currently working on a rollerball in the Forever Red scent from Bath and Body Works. I actually popped the rollerball out because I felt like there wasn't anything applying to the skin. So I put it in an atomizer and as you can see I only have a little bit left. And then that rollerball will be out of my life. I don't have another nail polish to show you but I am working on a base coat that should be done by the end of the year. And I hit my goal of three in March. No new eye products to report. I hit my goal of four in April. I finished a hair gel. This is from Eco Styler. This is the protein styling gel. It's the brown one. It was okay. Like I haven't found a gel that stays the whole, you know, more than a day, day and a half with this one. So that was pretty good for me. So finishing this, it has taken me to six for the year and my goal was four hair products to use up. So that's exciting. All right, you guys, you know I'm trying to use four sheet masks in a month and usually I hit three, which is still better than none. This, for June, I was able to hit my goal of four sheet masks for the month. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to try to hit that again for July. Uh, three of them were from Sephora. 
and one was from Naster. This was their Brightening Arbutin. Arbutin. There we go. This was a nice mask. I don't really remember anything, you know, that stuck out about it to me, but I enjoyed using it. Let's see. Now the Sephora mask. I didn't enjoy any of them like I'm supposed to, I think, you know. The green tea face mask, this is, they still sell this one. This one is supposed to be mattifying and I find that it's not mattifying for my skin. It actually makes me greasy like two hours after I use it. So I don't enjoy that. Like if you're supposed to mattify, mattify or at least don't bring more oil to the situation. Now these two, one is a pomegranate mask and the other one is a ginseng. The yellow one is ginseng. They were the fiber mask. Like this was their original format when they got into the sheet mask game. For them to be those fiber masks and they were thick like you were putting a washcloth kind of on your face. The pomegranate one, the smell was fine. Like the ginseng one, like the smell was, <sighs> I didn't enjoy the smell at all in the ginseng one. It was strong. It just wasn't a pleasant experience like a sheet mask should be where you put it on your face, it's cooling, you know, you sit, relax for 15, 20 minutes. I was so ready to take this one off that I had to force myself to get to the 15 minutes because usually I just let them stay on until they fall, start to fall from the face but I not with these fiber, fiber masks the, the texture was weird and then this ginseng smell was horrible to me so I'm glad they don't make the ginseng one anymore all right so I finished a shampoo this month this well in June from Simply Shea with Organic Shea Butter Deep Moisture Shampoo. This comes from Dollar Tree. And this was actually the container that held the conditioner that went with this line. This was a really nice moisturizing shampoo. It smelled good. I actually really enjoyed it. It was 8 ounces. With finishing this one, it took me to finishing 4 for the year. Which means I have one more left to hit my goal for the year. Which won't be a problem. Because I think this one will be the first to go. Oh, it's dripping, dripping. And I think this one will be the next one to go because it's down here. The calm and conditioning line. But like, you know, I used three shampoos at one time. The Herbal Essence Drama Clean Shampoo. That's my clarifying shampoo. And I'm actually making some really nice progress here. Then I use the Alberto VO5 Nourishing Oasis. I don't like the scent, but I shall persevere. And then my last step is the head and shoulders. This one is a two-in-one. I don't enjoy two-in-ones. I think they're a little drying, but this one's actually pretty nice. And I think maybe the almond oil in it helps. But this is the dry scalp care. And it's, I'm underneath the shoulders part here. I finished three conditioners this year, which leaves me six months to finish two more to hit my goal of five. And I am using the Alberto VO5 dry scalp soothe and relieve plus almond oil i keep it upside down it's like right here and i use this every other week the week i don't do a deep conditioning i'm using regular conditioner and i really enjoy that conditioner it's a thick conditioner and i know usually Alberto VO5 is a thinner conditioner, but this one is actually a really thick one. So if you're in the dollar store and these new Alberto VO5, because they have a volumizing one too, I think. 
but it's the new line in the white bottles. It's a really nice thick conditioner. All right, for body lotions, I finished two this month in June, whatever. Um, the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer Essential Healing. I really do like spray lotions, especially for the summer. You get them on, rub it in, and go. And then this one is from Bath and Body Works. It's the Violet Lily Sky. They also had these again during the um, semi-annual sale. I'm not a fan of this scent. I like the pear blossom one better. But I am glad to have used it. It was, you know, a good Bath and Body Works body lotion. I enjoyed it. So using those two has taken me to seven for the year. And my goal is ten, so I have... Five months to finish two oh, sorry <laughs> finish three more body lotions and I am currently using from Bath and Body Works it is Moonlit Path it is one of their triple moisture body creams and I don't know if you can see inside but but there's like a day's worth left in there so that's going to be done in July and then I have another Bath and Body Works body lotion in Endless Weekend and I heard that they're getting rid of Endless Weekend but I enjoy the scent it has Summer Mandarin Sunkissed Magnolia Raspberry Lychee Blue Coconut Water and Vanilla Sandalwood is a really nice scent this has been by my bedside I don't know if I'm going to move this one into the bathroom when I'm done with this or open up another body cream. But that's two, so I need one more. And when I finish that one, it will have taken me to my goal for the year of 10. So that's awesome. All right, so I finished a shower gel in June. This was the Olay Age Defying with Vitamin E. This was actually a really great product. It was moisturizing because it has a whole jar of Olay moisturizer inside. But it also lathered really well. My skin was clean, never felt slick. You know, because sometimes a moisturizing product, shower gel, can leave you feeling slick. Like, you're just covered in oil. I don't enjoy that sensation, but this never gave me that sensation. So, I really enjoyed this one. I would buy it in the future, but... I have tons of Bath and Body Works to get through. So I've only used four body washes out of ten this year. And I have, what, six months? If we count in July. And um, when I started this, I was basing them on a body lotion, body lotion, on a shower gel that was a Bath and Body Works size one. I didn't realize I owned more than two full size, I mean like jumbo size body washes. So hopefully I get very close to the goal of 10 this year. Because with the Bath and Body Works when it was usually one a month, so I was hedging my bets, you know, that if it, even if it took me a little over a month for certain Bath and Body Works products that I would still, you know, that's a two month buffer. But being that I've only finished four in six months, I may only hit eight this year, which is still a wonderful um, amount of progress to have hit but I will need you know I know I don't own any more because this is the last you know 20 ounces or more this one's a 24 ounce one as you can see he'll be done in July I really love that scent from the St. Ives Revitalizing Parent and Soy and then I will be replacing it with 
a shower gel finally from Bath and Body Works. This is from when they had their signature citrus line. This is apple blossom citrus. It smells really nice. I think this will be a nice summer scent to have in the shower. So I'm now moving on to Bath and Body Works size products. So hopefully, you know, we'll move a little better through them. I used a Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. It was a duo. I don't recommend the duo because the Natural Glow didn't... It didn't work. Like, I know Natural Glow to work in, the, in their own regular packaging. I do like the Wet Skin Moisturizer. I think it actually works really well. I was moisturized all day never got ashy and I checked you know scrape your nails down your leg or wherever you applied your moisturizer to see it just didn't work well because it didn't absorb into the skin like you would with the natural glow you would rub it in and it would absorb that way this you apply it you know you can count to 30 if you wanted to and then you pat it pat yourself dry that didn't give it enough time to activate I felt so that was a waste but with this product, I have now hit my goal of 10 travel size, fun size lotions to have used up. And I am very happy to have used that up. And the one I showed, I always show you from my purse, I'm still using that one. He is still going strong. All right, so I finished a lip balm that was in a, um, a project makeup project this is the NYX butter lip balm in parfait and it was not a pink that I enjoyed I would like this in a deeper berry shade because it was really nice and moisturizing and it did have a really nice color payoff it just wasn't my color payoff so now I have used 16 lip products this year which is awesome oh and this brand is also cruelty free so usually when I finish a body spray or perfume, you know, a bigger size one that I've been using for a while, I like to spend the next week using sample size products, sample size perfumes, and I was able to finish two. This one is from Atelier. It is their Clementine California scent. I do enjoy Atelier Citrus. I think they do it really well. My favorite one is the Mandarin. And then the deluxe sample of Estee Lauder's Modern Muse La Rouge. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago. It was, you got the full size and then you got this little one. I really love that Modern Muse La Rouge scent. So finishing those two samples size, I am now at 7 of 12 for the year. So... That shouldn't be hard to knock the other five out. I was trying to do math. There we go. And at this rate, finishing 12 would be me just keeping the ones I get from the Sephora play box. Because you get one a month in there. Just keeping them at bay at this point. For samples, not in another category. I'm going to use 12 this year. And these two were added to it. And that means I am now at 11 for the year. This is Chia Curl by Trisola. It's a 5-in-1 defining curl cream. It was okay. It smelled nice. It didn't define my curls. But it was a nice leave-in conditioner. And then this is a matte bronzer from Elizabeth Mott in What Up Beaches. I got this through Ipsy. Both of those through Ipsy. And I finished the pan. Finished the pan. Yeah, I finished the pan of bronzer. So it's empty now. It was a nice bronzer. It is something that I can see myself using in the future because it was a nice color for me. 
Um, I did get a little heavy handed when I would first apply it to like right here. It would get all muddy and ruddy up there. It looked so weird. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty nice product. I I never have complaints for from Elizabeth Mott's products. And like I said, that means I need to use one more sample, not in another category. Which won't be hard to do this year. And I finished a skincare sample. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. It is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. It was nice. It was moisturizing. It's this bouncy texture. Like, it's comparable to, like, the Dr. Jart in the silver tube, which I enjoy. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. It is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. It has the a nice bouncy consistency, kind of like cloudy and spongy, but a little will go a long way. That's how moisturizing it is. It reminds me of the Dr. Jart Cream in the silver container. I really enjoyed this. I don't know that I would buy it, but I enjoyed it. So using that one, it takes me to 33 skincare samples used this year when my goal was 20. So I am making some really nice progress. We will see how the future goes with the shower gels, but everything else is progressing really nicely. I want to thank you guys for viewing. If you enjoyed please hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do i would love to have you and if you've already subscribed thank you very much i want you guys to be safe be well peace